there, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take you through the fascinating world of COD production. From the ocean to your plate, we'll be exploring the steps involved in turning this beloved seafood into a delicious dish. So, grab a seat and let's dive in. The first step in cod production is catching the fish. This is a crucial step that requires skilled fishermen and specialized equipment. The cod is typically caught using large fishing nets called trawlers. These nets are dragged along the ocean floor to catch the cod, which are then hauled onto the boat using a winch. Once on the boat, the cod are sorted and stored in large tanks filled with ice to keep them fresh. The tanks are regularly drained and refilled to ensure that the fish remain cool and hydrated. Catching the cod is a delicate process that requires careful attention to detail. Fishermen must ensure that the nets are properly secured and that the cod are handled gently to prevent injury or stress. After the cod is caught and stored in tanks, the next step in the production process is gutting and cleaning the fish. This is a crucial step to ensure that the final product is safe and of high quality. The gutting process involves removing the organs from the fish, including the intestines and stomach. This is typically done using a knife, and it requires skill and precision to avoid damaging the meat. Once the fish has been gutted, it is thoroughly cleaned to remove any remaining scales, blood, or other debris. This is typically done using high-pressure water jets, which help to remove any remaining impurities. Gutting and cleaning the cod is a critical step in the production process, as it ensures that the final product is safe to consume and of high quality. It requires skilled workers and specialized equipment to perform correctly, and it is important to follow strict hygiene and sanitation practices to prevent contamination. After the cod has been gutted and cleaned, the next step in the production process is filleting. This involves removing the bones and skin from the fish, leaving behind only the meat. Filleting is a delicate and precise process that requires skilled workers and specialized equipment. The fillets must be carefully cut to ensure that all bones are removed while minimizing waste. This is typically done using sharp knives and specialized machines that can remove the bones quickly and efficiently. Once the fillets have been prepared, they are typically graded based on their quality and size. This helps to ensure that customers receive consistent and high quality products. Filleting is a critical step in the production process, as it determines the final quality and appearance of the product. It requires skilled workers and specialized equipment to perform correctly, and it is important to follow strict hygiene and sanitation practices to prevent contamination. After filleting, the cod undergoes salting and drying, which is a traditional method of preserving fish that has been used for centuries. First, the cod is salted to draw out excess moisture and preserve the fish. The fish is layered with salt in a large wooden barrel, and then it is left to sit for several weeks. During this time, the salt draws out the moisture from the fish and creates a dry, tough texture that helps to preserve the fish.
Next, the fish is dried, which further reduces its moisture content and helps to prevent spoilage. The drying process typically takes place in a well-ventilated area, such as a drying shed or outside in the sun. The fish is hung on racks or lines and left to dry for several weeks, depending on the climate and humidity. During the drying process, the fish develops a distinct flavor and texture that is prized by many people. The resulting product, known as salted cod or bakuyao, can be stored for months or even years without refrigeration. Salting and drying cod is a time-honored tradition that has been passed down for generations. It requires careful attention to detail and strict adherence to traditional methods to ensure that the fish is preserved properly. The resulting product is a flavorful and nutritious ingredient that is used in many different types of cuisine around the world. Once the cod has been salted and dried, it is ready to be packaged for distribution and sale. The packaging process involves careful handling to ensure that the fish remains in good condition and is protected from moisture and other contaminants. Traditionally, salted cod was packaged in wooden barrels for transportation and storage. Today, modern packaging techniques have made it easier to store and transport the fish in a variety of different containers, such as vacuum sealed bags or plastic containers. The packaging process typically begins by inspecting the salted cod to ensure that it meets certain quality standards. Any fish that does not meet these standards is removed from the production line and discarded. Next, the fish is sorted and graded based on its size and quality. This helps to ensure that the fish is properly packaged and labeled for sale. Finally, the salted cod is carefully placed into its packaging and sealed to prevent moisture and air from entering. The packaging typically includes a label that provides information about the product, such as its weight, origin, and expiration date. Proper packaging is essential for preserving the quality and flavor of the salted cod. It helps to prevent spoilage and ensures that the fish remains fresh and ready to use for cooking. With careful handling and packaging, salted cod can be enjoyed around the world as a delicious and nutritious ingredient in many different types of cuisine. And there you have it, the steps involved in the cod production process. From catching the fish to shipping the final product. Each step is critical to ensuring that the cod is safe, delicious, and ready to be enjoyed. We hope you enjoyed learning about the process and appreciate your support in watching our videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.